Hey folks, welcome to Wolf Mains Gaming Den. Uh, we have a pretty quick unboxing for you guys today. Uh, we'll be unboxing uh, Crash Bandits, uh, a game for two to four players uh, that's meant to be played in about roughly 20 odd minutes. Uh, it's, it's a game I basically picked up on a whim, <laughs> for lack of a better uh, expression. I had not heard of the game before, uh, but as soon as I read the name and I sort of like looked at the cover art, it really reminded me of the character Vagabond from Root, which uh, I'm a huge fan of, so I just thought I'd pick it up and see what, uh, what it's all about. So. Uh, Let's go to the table, let's open it up and see what's actually inside. Alright folks, so uh, before we get started, a quick apology on my part. Uh, I'd started the unboxing uh, with the video on and then uh, when I went to check back on it, it looked like the video had not recorded properly, so we sort of like have to do a redo uh, of the unboxing again. Uh, but I'm happy to keep that a secret if you guys are, so we'll pretend like uh, that didn't happen and just to quickly get started. So here you can see you have the cover of the box uh, as we had seen earlier. You have a, a nice uh, cartoon-like sort of like image uh, going on. And then on the back end, you have uh, uh, quick images of a few cards that you can expect to see. Interestingly enough, the design does not, the designer is not mentioned on the cover of the box itself, but the game is published by Game Right, who have done some uh, pretty decent games in the past, uh, such as Forbidden Island uh, uh, and so on. Uh, it is a game for two to four players, meant to be played in 20 minutes, and uh, seems to be kids friendly. So, uh, family weight game that you can expect to play with, uh, 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 that you can get your kids involved in, uh, if this is something that might be of interest to them. So, with that, uh, we'll pretend like I'm taking off the shrink right here, and uh, we'll uh, dig in and see what's inside. Alright, so, uh, first up we have uh, the rule book, which is fairly light and easy. I mean, even everything that you're seeing on this one pager right here is not the rule. There is uh, other uh, content such as work from uh, game right and so on going on in here. So uh, should be something that's fairly light and easy and quick to play. Uh, the other side gives you a quick description of the cards that come in the uh, game as well. Uh, and then you have a uh, Thank you note and then a survey questionnaire for game right if you want to fill that up uh, quick product catalog uh, from them if you're not familiar with the publisher they've done some uh, uh, well-regarded games in the past uh, sushi go is definitely one of the bigger ones uh, uh, that they would be uh, known for uh, including sushi go uh, sorry sushi go uh, would be one of the bigger ones that they're known for uh, and if I remember correctly I uh, I think Forbidden Island and that series is theirs as well. So there you have it. Uh, first off, you have a nice uh, die that comes with it, a decent size uh, uh, with the custom images embossed or printed on it. Uh, so you have images of sort of like, you know, trash cans and fees and recycling, uh, mask, um, grabby thingy, uh, and so on going on. And then you have a few wooden tokens that come in the game as well. Uh, uh, I, I would say a little on the plain side, uh, uh, but uh, I mean, perhaps given the weight of the game, it's uh, it's uh, uh, probably can't expect much more uh, than this. Uh, but uh, you, these are the same icons that you can see on the dice as well. So I imagine that maybe you roll the dice and you get these. I don't know. Uh, we'd have to see the rule book for that to confirm. And then lastly, you have uh, the cards that come in the game as well. So it's a largely card driven game by the look of things. Um, and uh, uh, you have the name of the card, uh, the number printed right here uh, tells you how many of these you can expect to have in the decks, uh, deck and then uh, I guess action that's associated with that card as well. Uh, so you have Blamo, uh, da -da -da -da. Fish, not Fish, Fish, uh, Doggo, Kitten, Umbai, uh, not the best or most appetizing looking pie, but there it is. Uh, Nanners. Uh, shiny. And then Yum Yum at the very end. And then one reference card that lays out the uh, actions you can do uh, in the game itself. It's double-sided, uh, but it just seems a bit weird that you, know, you would have one reference card for a game that plays up to four, but uh, I, I expect it's not a complicated game, so you realistically might not need this all that often anyway. So there you go. With that, uh, that's pretty much what comes in the box for Crash Pandas. All right, folks. So there you go. Uh, that's what comes in the box uh, for Crash Pandas. Uh, 
a uh, lightning content, but then again, I expect this is a very, very light game to play with. Uh, but uh, if you want to pick it up, it, it should be in stock right now, and uh, uh, hopefully you have a good sense of what to expect in the box as well. So with that, uh, that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.